Trimmer Lake's Snap2 toolbar contains a lot of cool and simple ways to create points from line work. This video will show you how to use them all. The line work would typically come from a DXF file, but could be your own feature coded line work or from other file types, like an IFC file. Some of the features in the Snap2 toolbar were already supported in either the Map, Tap and Hold menu or via the Kogo routines. The old ways to do things are still supported, but the new Snap2 toolbar makes it a lot easier. And don't forget, there are a lot of other powerful Kogo functions available from the Tap and Hold menu and the Kogo menu, and that some functions are only available from the Map Tap and Hold menu, for example to offset a line and say a DXF file. Tap the Settings button to display the Snap2 toolbar. The first button is the Snap to Midpoint tool. Tap this button and then an arc, line or polyline, and a point at the midpoint is created. This point can then be staked or used in other Kogo computations. It doesn't exist in the job yet though. Tap Review to review the coordinates. If you want to save it to the job, tap and hold on the map and select Create Point. The next button is Snap to End. Tap this button and then an arc, line or polyline, and a point at the nearest end is calculated. As with Snap to Midpoint and all the points created using the Snap2 toolbar, they are temporary points until you use them in Kogo computations or you choose to create points using the Map, Tap and Hold menu. Next is Snap to Intersection. You can snap to real intersection of two lines or a projected intersection. Real intersections are where you can see the two lines crossing. Simply tap the Snap to Intersection button and then tap near the intersection and a point at the intersection is calculated. Where the two lines do not physically intersect, they can be projected to find an intersection. Tap the Snap to Intersection button and then the first line followed by the second line and a point at the intersection is calculated. Where there isn't a real intersection of the line work, projected line work is displayed with a dashed line to the calculated point. Snap to PI of an arc is next. Tap Snap to PI of an arc and then the arc and a point at the point of intersection of the arc is calculated. Snap to Centre is the next tool and really handy if you need to calculate and set out the centre of an arc or circle. Tap Snap to Centre and then the arc and a point at the centre of the arc is calculated. Dashed lines from the ends of the arc to the centre pointer are also displayed. These are really useful in situations where what might look like one simple arc is actually a series of arcs. The dashed lines ensure you understand exactly which arc the centre point is computed from. Snap to nearest snaps to the nearest point of the selected line, polyline or arc. This is useful when you want to create a point on the line, polyline or arc, but don't need to be too precise where on that line it is. We could use a combination of Snap2 tools and the Map Tap and Hold menu to do some cool things. For example, to extend an arc in a DXF file. First use Snap to nearest to snap a point on the arc, and then use Snap to end to create points at the ends of the arc. Now use the tap and hold menu to create an arc through those three points, including the centre of the arc. The possibilities are endless and it's all simple to follow with the map's graphical interface. The last tool is the clear snaps button. Tap this to clear all the temporary points created by the snap2 tools. Other map entities that might have been selected are not deselected when you use the clear snaps button. Only the snap points are cleared. One last important note is that you can compute snap2 points on segments of a polyline without exploding the polyline. Simply ensure you tap the appropriate section of the polyline. You could see me demonstrate this earlier when I computed the centre point for an arc that was part of a polyline. This concludes our video showing how to use the snap2 toolbar. For more information visit the Trimble Access Help Portal. Thanks for watching.